Now that the holiday fever is almost over, it's probably the best time to return those gifts that you may have not wanted under the tree. According to a National Retail Federation survey, retailers expect 18 percent of the items sold during the 2022 holiday season to be returned. That's merchandise bought between November 1st through December 31st. The estimated cost of these returns, $171 billion. Jordan Holman joins me now. She's a business reporter covering retail for the New York Times. Thank you so much for being here. So many businesses, they're changing their return policies. What is up with that? Yes, so that uh, stat that you cited, that 18% of returns, that's gone up in the past two years. In 2020, the return rate was around 11%. And so it's a, it's a fact of us buying a lot more things and us not always wanting the things we want. So retailers, that's a really expensive problem for, for them. Yeah. Um, and so one of the reasons um, or one of the ways they're tackling that is making it a little bit more expensive for us to return things. So, for example, if you're ordering online from a place like Gap and they own like Athleta and, and Banana Republic or if you're buying from Zara, it's going to cost you now to ret return an online order to them compared to, you know, the free returns, which over the past few years to compete with Amazon, a lot of retailers were pushing. This is not good for people. This is not good for me. <laughs> it's not good for a lot of people. I mean, that's tough because we're not used to that. So do you think that free returns could be a thing of the past soon, Jordan? Well, you still have a lot of the big players who are actually using that as a perk, like uh, because a lot of people are going the opposite way. You have Walmart and Target actually saying, hey, we're going to extend the return window. We know that this is a perk during the season. So if you're ordering from Target and Walmart, um, you can return that item up until the end of January. So I think right what we're seeing right now is retailers are kind of playing around to see with what is enough for them to protect margins, but to keep people like you happy with this process. <laughs> um, but it is something that has been rolled back in the past few years as, as we just shop, shop, shopped. Yes. Now, according to uh, the Commerce Department, retail sales were actually down in November, despite record Black Friday shopping. So how has inflation impacted consumers this holiday season? Just like inflation has kind of defined the way we've shopped all of 2022, it has played a role in what it looked like this holiday season. So people are, um, it's happening in two ways. People are leaning more towards services, going out to eat, um, going back to, you know, dinner with the with your teammates around the holiday season so that actually saw a lot of growth this year um but because um essential items have gone up in price people are saying hey i only have so much spend to go around so you saw spend on groceries and and gas continue uh to go up while maybe those bigger ticket items like a car or a, a sofa or a laptop which is really a key item during the holiday season you didn't see that as much so that is definitely something that retailers went into this holiday season knowing that value and people being price conscious was a thing. And so that's why we saw so many more deals compared to last year. Interesting. You know, this year we baked cookies as a, a gift for people. I think that uh, mm -hmm. it's personalized and it's, you know, inexpensive. But anyway, many happy Except returns. Except for those eggs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have a very good point. Unless, it, unless of course, it's gluten-free, but I'm going down another tangent. My producer's like, come on, Deborah, stop this. Jordan, we really <laughs> appreciate your insight. Thank you so much. No problem. Have a good one. You too.